To get the weight for a resident, the only supplies that we need are a scale. Sometimes the scale is in a common area like a shower or bathroom, um, and if so, you will have to have the equipment you need to ambulate the person depending on their um, status. So Annie is able to walk by herself with just a standby assist. So I brought the scale to her room. I'm going to knock on the door and wash my hands. Annie, I'm Myra. I'm here to take your weight. Is that okay? Okay. I'm going to provide for privacy. Before I have you get out of bed, I'm going to zero the scale. So if I look at the red needle here, it's a little bit above the zero. This particular scale has a dial underneath where I can move that needle back and forth to zero the scale. So I turn that dial a little bit and now we're right on zero. So now I'm gonna turn this so it's easier for Annie to get on. Okay, let's have you swing out of bed. Made sure the bed was lowered. And then I'm gonna let her dangle. Are you feeling okay, You're not dizzy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have your grippy socks on. Okay, I'll have you stand up. Okay, and then take a little step up to the scale. Okay, and then I'll have her hold for just a second. Okay, you can step off. All right, and you can have a seat back in bed. Do you need help getting your legs back in? Okay, I'll get you comfortable again. Okay. You feeling good? Mm -hmm. All right, I see you have your call light there. Make sure your bed's all the way down and locked. Okay, anything else I can get for you? All right, I'm gonna open up your curtain again. And then I'll document the weights in either pounds or kilograms and report to the nurse if there's any fluctuation of more than three pounds from the day before or a fluctuation of five pounds within the week.